Hello everyone, it's Phil from PC Games and here and I'm with Joel. Hi. And today we're playing some Motorsport Manager. Well that's not quite true, is it? Not quite true. Okay, today we're <laughs> watching me playing Motorsport Manager in the past. That's what's happened. Uh, so it starts with a character customization screen. This is the manager. I'm. Oh, you know Fernando Alonso's birthday really well. I'm creating Fernando Alonso at lightning speed. They've got his exact hair, but not his exact beard, which I was a bit disappointed about. And he can't change his face, but... Um... So while you're doing this, let's go back to basics. This is a formerly <laughs> mobile game that's coming to PC in which you manage a motorsport team but that's, you don't drive the races. That's a pretty accurate description. Yeah. yeah, you do everything but drive the cars. So I'm choosing my team here. I've gone with uh, not Ferrari. <laughs> Scuderia Rossini. Definitely Racini. not Ferrari. Uh, and I'm plunged straight into sort of the hub um, screen. It works a bit like Football Manager. So if you're familiar with Football Manager, the fundamentals are applicable here as well. So I've got my two drivers there. Loose approximations. Wait, are, where's Fernando Alonso? Well, I'm the team boss. Oh, I so see. I'm, I've just I've made that just for my own I enjoyment. I see. So you're not the chairman. That's Lorenzo Bonaventura. Yeah, he's just welcoming me. And Dieter Wexler, my driver one, is saying hello with his resplendent beard. That uh, is quite the beard, isn't it? Nilo Saarinen, driver two, is uh, getting old now. Uh, so Dieter Wexler is probably the fastest in the team. Uh, I've set my expectations for the season that I reckon we'll finish second because uh, I think they're called Steinmann Motorsport. Is that, is that pretty not dominant. Mercedes? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. So I don't reckon we'll beat them, but uh, I'm choosing some sponsors here. Basically what this does, to an extent, this will uh, affect the appearance of the car, but more importantly, it chooses how and when you get money. So certain sponsor deals will just give you a lump sum of cash up front. Others will give you bonuses for race wins or podiums or championship wins and things now, like that. Now, just as we started to record this we we watched a bit of the footage and i said wow it looks boring i'm already revising that opinion i'm finding it quite exciting there because i really love football manager yes yeah, it's, it's that for <laughs> formula one fans that's yeah. the pitch really that's the elevator pitch so i'm doing some scouting now which will be very familiar uh to, to a football manager yeah player um it looks the interface looks quite nice actually yeah yeah it's, it's quite readable like, uh, the first thing when you just plunged into that screen there's quite a lot to click on. You see all the tabs along the bottom there. There's there's a lot to do. Yeah, but for a football manager fan, you know. Nah, it's nothing, is <laughs> it's it? It's fine. So I'm sort of tentatively um, going through these screens at this point and just seeing what everything does. But because I've joined not Ferrari, mm. everything's actually ticking over quite nicely. Like so I was going to say, if you picked to join a, a crudder team, your car would just be worse. You'd have less money. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Um, so you've got 11 mil that you can spend on. Oh, I see you're... you're Upgrading your build. Wow, they're expensive. I'm, con I'm contemplating upgrading some stuff, but um, I think that's gonna, surely you're not going to do that. That's no, too much I've money. That. I, I'm just getting a lay of the land, really. Um, oh, I like it. It's a, just a bit more friendly than your average sort of manager sim. But, yeah, but it, yeah. It looks like it's got the depth as well. You wait until the races happen. The races are genuinely really exciting. I don't even know how they're going to be presented. Oh, Phil, I'm excited now. Yeah, there we go. Gosh, so there's so a marketability cool. uh, tab down the bottom there. I don't know if you clocked that percentage. That has to do with the drivers themselves. So it's not just about their ability. It's also how media savvy they are and right. how well they can be marketed. Griffin Severance. Is... You've got someone on the team called Griffin Severance. That's well, he's, brilliant. He's staying with us forever then. So I, I, I feel like I should have probably like improved the car a bit for the start of the season. Um, unfortunately, because we've got quite good engineers and things, you hire and fire the backroom, the backroom staff, as yeah, it were, yeah. as well as the drivers. Um, they've done quite a good job developing the car. So at this point, I'm deciding what to develop uh, before the first race of the season. Do you have? Obviously, you don't have pre-season friendlies, but like, do you have a test track that you can go and? There is a test track, but you don't go there manually and sort of do laps. It's just part of the. It's one of the buildings to upgrade. In right. fact, I think. I th mm. I think it's just a wind tunnel, actually. So I think you're, I think all the testing goes on. You're cutting it fine with whatever she's working on. It, it completes one day before the race. Well, just wait and see. Look at that. If you just uh, auto fill with what they recommend, what they want to work well, on, that'll be for next season, then, will it? Yeah, basically. They need to work on that. This is is this pre release code uh it is pre-release code so actually. that probably might fix that there are a few little bugs we should say because this is pre-final code um the uh play sport games will still be squashing. peter wex is not very happy with your setup there i mean he's very neutral face yeah well it's because uh he's sort of he sees himself as driver one he wants all the upgrades he wants the faster car 
and he'll have specific sort of car setup requirements as well. Uh, so in this screen, you're sort of managing who gets what. So Sirenin's had a few of the new parts there, and Vexler's had a few of the others. So I think what I've done is made Sirenin's car a bit more reliable, and Vexler's a bit faster. Okay. Now, is your job to... Do you have to concern yourself with the team standings or the individual racer standings? Everybody. It's all it's all on me. Okay. And uh, Scuderia Rossini as well are quite a high-pressure team. Mm. Higher pressure even than uh, Steinman Motorsport. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's, you feel you feel the, the pressure if you start to do badly. I'm doing a press conference here. Uh, similar to Football Manager, yeah, you can sort of... Yeah, you're giving it... You're sitting on that fence, Phil. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to manage uh, my relationships down the bottom there with, with the two drivers. So Sarenin can't get enough of me based on what I've said so far. Um, Vexler could be happier, but he's... He's, he's doing okay. all right. I think it'll be a tough race with Steinman Motorsport. Absolutely. Um, it's, it reminds me of playing uh, sensible soccer back in the day with player names that were such obvious rip-offs of yeah. real players. Yeah, this is a bit more so. Actually, the funny thing is they've got three teams that are very obviously Formula One nods. So Steinman, uh, Rossini and what's the other team called? They're Hughes basically Williams. Or something like that. Yeah, they, they look exactly like the Williams oh, car, Williams. but oh, a, a, a slightly different uh, name and livery. The others are, are very different. So... It's uh, it's an interesting blend of sort of really sort of li- lingering nods to F1 and then just sort of complete fantasy. And the other good thing about the fantasy element is it's roughly 50-50 male and female employees behind the wheel and outside, you know, in the garage and stuff. So it means, you know, when I was scouting earlier on then, like the the chances of like finding the next Lewis Hamilton, it might be like a 15-year-old Chinese girl might be the sure. next one, which is... You know, that's pretty cool. It's nice, yeah, we like that. So time's passed. Uh, we're pre- preparing for the first race of the season in Yokohama. 16-lap uh, race, is that? That's... Well, you can you can set up, yeah. <laughs> That doesn't seem a, typical. Bit of a sprint. I'm no expert, but... Yeah, we've set this to sort of uh, medium race lengths. Right, okay. So you can go longer if you want and spend sort of 50 laps on the edge of your seat worrying about tyres and things. Um, and similarly, you can set, um, you know, tyre degradation rates and things like that, so... Speed everything up or slow it right down. Right, okay. Um, so I'm really lingering on the uh, scouting report here because I guess I'm thinking, oh, I haven't really developed the car specifically for this track. Mm. Oh, and I've got some scouting reports back on Johan Silvander. Um, He's one of the best. A promising Swedish teenager. Who's he racing for these days? Um, Zampelli yeah. Engineering. Yeah. So It'll only cost you two mil to, to get him out. Anyway, we've got we've had some sponsor deals come in, so let's see. Uh, oh, I see. So they give you either money or a bit of money, and then per race. Yeah, and I think probably La Rocca is the best deal there because it's well, just it's a, a mill in the front. bank. Oh, I like that. So, and there are more prestigious sponsor by the looks of things as well. The star rating there. So we've banked that. Gosh, it'd be good if it was easy to make a million pounds in just real like life. That. Just Click. like that, yeah. Clickety click. Clickety click. Done. Nilo Saarinen has a cold a couple of days well, before the race. Send so him home. Yeah. Mine just taught me anything. Send, <laughs> send him home. straight Don't home. Don't leave him to the physio. Yeah. they will all be ill. Um, so this one, you get to choose your the sponsor objective that you want to fulfil before the race. I see. Um, third or so above. So I reckon 1.3 mil for third or above is is a no-brainer, really. Because yeah, um, I'm feeling good. confident at this point. We've got probably yeah, the second not best package. Your car. You've not bought any new drivers. You've not spent any money on new buildings. I mean, why wouldn't you be? <laughs> <laughs> because the work's already been done for me, really. Um, yeah, I suppose you basically, like it was like picking Man City and Football Manager. Or yeah, which is totally something I do as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I reckon we'll probably manage a third because Dieter Wexler, um, he's got the stats. He's like the Julian Draxler of, uh, <laughs> of Motorsport Manager. So... Here we, uh, we're allocating tyres as well. Because I haven't played the game before and certainly haven't been on this track before, I don't really know. Like You're just hedging your bets. Degradation rates. So I'm, I've, I've auto-picked. Yeah, that's fine. Um, car fitting. This, this is a little bit confusing at this point, I think, because that all looks fine, right? It looks like they've both well, all the bits got are wings <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. you know, tyres and um, stuff. That's what I'd say. Um, but then this brings up this second screen whereby... We're giving different parts to different drivers, and that uh, that affects their morale levels. 
And you can see the effect it's having on the performance of each car. You're just as taking well. the wing off, so yeah, so that's going to have pretty pretty bad performance uh, impact. Um, oh, I see. So one wing is slightly better than the other. Yeah. Do you give it to this guy or this guy? I see. So Saarinen's really happy with that, but Vexler's merely content because he wants all the good stuff for himself. I'm just going to let him be content. I'm not sure what impact that has on his driving, actually, but um, we Can shall you see. see. Does it say, like, last season the team finished in X position and the drivers finished in... No, although I wonder if we get through a full season... Because that, that certainly happened in the, the mobile app um, that this game sort of was, was born from. Um, it was a persistent world and drivers would sort of make their way up from junior formulas. Results would carry over. Yeah, and it I became imagine a, that's the thing. I just I just wondered if you could like see what had happened before you took over the team before the game yeah. started, but but maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, this In this build anyway. Right, it's race day. Uh, we've skipped qualifying. Well, we didn't skip qualifying. I had an absolute disaster in qualifying. <laughs> um, which we've skipped puts, showing you the qualifying. Yeah, that's more accurate. So uh, I just I had a I had a nightmare. Um, You're not driving. Finished. How can you possibly have a nightmare? Well, I sent them out at a really good time, a nice clear track, but I didn't realise that there's a manual speed gauge that tells them exactly how much to push it, mm. and uh, that meant that they were just trundling along with freezing cold tyres and brakes for most of their warm-up lap oh. uh, in the middle of a load of traffic, and so they started their hot lap just in the worst position uh, possible conditions. Oh, you've effed that right up. So as oh, you will see. On, uh... Oh, I'm not even going to go through the grid. I'm in a half. Um, <laughs> where, yeah, Vexler is 19th. So oh, crikey, he's had an absolute... You've told the sponsors you're going to finish third. I know. So I'm feeling the well, pressure Well, I'm excited already. now because you really are under pressure. I've got it all to do. Um, I can't even remember where Siren is. I think Siren was even further back than that. Well, Maybe it can't he was be much 20th. further back. <laughs> um, Driver strategy. You know, right, I've gone for fairly conservative strategy. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going for sort of a reactive. Oh no, Siren actually did quite well. I've gone reactive anyway. Look at it. So this is how races are depicted. Oh, one of our uh, audio tiles has just fallen off and hit me on the back. Oh, it looks great. So we've got to make it through the back markers as quickly as possible. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> um, so I'm telling. Vexler there to set his engine onto overtake mode and take as much out of his tyres as he wants. Uh, Siren, because he's in a slightly higher position at the moment anyway, and he's got a bit more. Where's, what's that? Where's Vexler gone? Oh, there, I've, I've switched to Siren oh, in there. Right, so I'm like telling him to do the same thing. And that's frustrating. Like, can you set the speed at which all of this is happening? Yeah, you can. Okay, yeah, you moment, can speed it right up. rather overwhelming. <laughs> Oh, this is actually the, the slowest it goes. Oh. Yeah, so you can speed wow. it right up. Um, there we go. So Sorinen's made a pass there yeah, and Vexler's, Vexler's followed him. Places. That's good. Uh, you can set team orders, so I could just order Sorinen to let Vexler through, but I'm not going to yet. Because it's right off in the first race. It's lap two of the first race yeah. of the season, yeah. so. All right, mate, just. Uh... And I, I suspect that Vexler's probably got it in him to make it through anyway. Well, he's, he's made a little push there. Yeah, he looks I, racing. I honestly love the way it looks. It's like just that little bit cartoony. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah, it's, it's really it's like exciting. watching a sort of colony of ants swarm around. So if you see on the oh, oh and whoa. there's Vexler with an amazing move. <laughs> Double overtake. That was huge. Yeah. Um, so I've set their strategy now to uh, look after the tyres at a reasonable rate. Their engines are both up a little bit. They're on fuel burn mode, so I'll need to manage fuel later on in the race. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> but uh, if you look over on the left, you'll see the list of drivers and how much they've taken out of their tyres. Oh, you're doing all right, actually. So, yeah, so we've started on the soft compound rather than the super soft, which degrades at a slower rate, which means we should be able to get a few more laps out of this stint than most of the riders, uh, drivers, rather, in front of us. Um, now, I, I, you know, I know a little bit about Formula One. You know quite a lot more. How easy would it be as a relative Formula One novice to play this game? Because it seems like it might be quite hard. I reckon another nice move there from yeah, Vexler. He loves good. that corner. I think it will take a few races to um, to understand why you're not doing well. Because I, I mean, think I found nowadays, that in if race you decided one, yeah. to play football manager as a bit of a football novice in 2016, you would be absolutely screwed. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I think that I think it's a it's a fair um, concern, uh, but I think there's enough going on 
there's enough excitement to be had here, even if you're not doing brilliantly. Um, after a few races, you start to pick up that, okay, this tyre works better than that tyre. I, I, you know, it's just about learning from your mistakes, isn't it? And uh, if the game's fun, then you'll be motivated to give it another I'm, go. I'm loving the race, honestly, it's brilliant. So, Saren is making a bit of a meal out of this first stint. My plan was to try and get him, get both drivers yeah, through the not, traffic and into clear air. Vex has done a good job. Vex is doing very well, yeah, and he's looking after his tyres quite well. Um, so he's in a good position. I was hoping that Saren would be able to follow him. I think push him. him a bit harder. Well, um, let's see what he does with attack. everything. Because he's, he's hit just a big group now of uh, slower cars. And he's coming up to his favourite corner as well. Yeah, I'll probably leap for a them. But he is starting to... Once the tyres drop past 50%, you can see the sort of the pie chart around each tire. Yeah. Uh, then the the wear really starts to affect the pace. Some of them are running their tires down to almost a, a to, the, yeah, to the rims. Yeah. So um, yeah. So that's Vexler saying his tires are. Oh, he's he's made the move though. All the same. Yes, he he's gone tonight. But I'm going to take him in anyway. Uh, it's a stint on super softs now, so he should have a bit more pace. Yeah. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to get him back out on the track into clear air so he can just bosh out a bunch of fast laps on the super softs yeah, and make like up a bit more ground. I don't need to give him any more fuel or anything like that. I can be a bit riskier with the yeah. the pit strategy, but I'm I'm not going to be. Oh, I've actually... I, I did go for a, a bit of extra fuel. I feel like if you, if you hadn't watched qualification so badly, you'd, you'd have this race yeah. you know, pretty well. This so and back in 16th, yeah. 15th now. His tyres are pretty worn as well, but I think I'm going to keep him out an extra lap. That's Vexler in, <laughs> That's cool. along with quite a lot of other people. Yeah, loads of people have paid. Go on. Um, so my plan there didn't work exactly as intended because no, I'm you've straight in right traffic. right back into traffic. Yeah. Oh, nightmare. So Thorinen's now up into seven because he's. Uh, Who's the idiot? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, that was what happened. Yeah. yeah, it was a bad pit stop. Someone messed up with the tyres, and that's cost uh, Vexer a bit of time. Thorinen wants to attack a little bit more. How are his tyres not up to temperature? I've uh, I've set him to look after his tyres. So on the uh, bottom right counter oh, one strategy yeah. there. He's uh, he's looking after those to try and get a few more laps out of him. I'm splitting the strategy, basically, to hedge my bets. Now then, Vexler has made short work of a couple of those drivers there. Uh, he's telling me that he's got a surplus of fuel, so yeah. I've set his engine to fuel burn. And now he's got some clear air in front of him, and he can really put in some hot laps. Sarinen stayed out for another lap. He's complaining about his tyres. Well, a minute ago, they weren't hot enough, and now they're worn now out. Now I've used them so out completely. Brilliant. Uh, am I going to put him on the softs? Oh, Maybe yeah, even the medium and go a long stint. Let's throw I'm some gonna... wets on there. Mm. Interesting. So how many laps have we got? Where are we with... Lap seven of 16. Seven of 16. So we've got nine 16. remaining. Oh, okay. remaining. I don't think even the medium will be able to go to the end of the race. Um, just checking on the weather there. Because by the look rainy? of it, it's starting to drizzle. I like the rain effects, that's nice. Yeah. So immediately, I need to completely revise oh, my fuel strategy. Yeah. I'm going on inters because it looks like it's only going to rain for a little bit. Um, however, I've just pitted Vexler in the previous lap for a new set of dry tyres. Oh. So that's worked out absolutely terribly for him. And now the track is already really wet in some places. Oh, no. And he's just lost a ton of time. Oh, he's not, Philly's not going to be happy with you. So okay. what I'm considering is splitting strategies again and hoping, oh no, I didn't do, oh well I considered this mentally, it's just keeping him out on the uh, on the super softs, but um, here we go, there's going to be some chaos in the pits there, this so Soren and Pitts in for Inters, Vexler stays out on his super How softs. How many laps are with his super softs doing? <laughs> Uh, probably about another two or three, and I'm hoping right. that the track will start to dry. I mean, it's almost that sort of 50% wetness at this point. Oh my gosh. But because he was it's so badly out of position. It? Yeah, so the, the, the start of the, the weather, uh, the weather change rather, it, it just completely messed up my strategy. I'm sure you do, mate. So yeah, Vexler wants to come in, and I'm not going to let him. <laughs> uh, eventually I'll see sense uh, and get him onto some inters, but... Um, I was hoping that it would just be a little shower. Uh, why why enters are not wet? Because it's pretty wet. 
Well, it's still not fully. The, there's the water on track yeah. gauge at the top there. Uh, I'm still banking on. Is it set not to get wetter? Like it says, weather conditions just rain. Um, yeah, well, the, the sun's starting to um, come out in elapsed time, so I'm oh, hoping okay. that Inters will be the right choice here. So Saarinen on the right tyre, along with most of the grid now, Ooh, as you can he's see. Oh, he's gone wide there. Yeah. Um, Vexler really, really struggling yeah, really on worn-out super softs. Um, he is in sixth, but he's going to just lose a ton of time, and he's made two pit stops in three laps or something. Will these get him to the end of the race, these new tyres? No, I think they'll probably wear out just before... Um, again, it depends on if, if the track does dry out really quickly, then it'll take a lot out of the Inters. Yeah, true. Um, Saarinen, who I've told to conserve his tyres, is complaining that he hasn't got the temperature in them. So I need to push them on the, the current wet track surface. Gosh, this seems really stressful. So oh. as <laughs> all of which is to say, this is quite complex and yeah. requires a lot of concentration to get anything out of. But I sort of thought it was going to be more about managing the team in between races than, than doing quite this much during the race itself. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, though. I think it looks great. Yeah, this, this is really enjoyable. So we're seeing now that it's stopping raining. There is some standing water still on the track, uh, but the sun is out, and that's going to dry out the track, which means the Inters are the good choice, and you can see that reflected in the driver's standings because everyone who went for the full wets... Yeah, they've um, slipped right down. ...have slipped right down. So... We didn't do brilliantly at that, but we've sort of mitigated. Oh, there was a crash. I didn't see the crash. No, I didn't see the, the last, crash. The last, the two guys are out on a crash. Oh, I see. Uh, and Saarinen's actually come out quite well out of that because he pitted in at the right so time. So you're, you're bringing him in again. Um, the yeah, the track's evolving rapidly, so I'm considering getting so uh, getting Vexler onto some softs and making up some of that time that uh, that we lost with all those. So it's three pit stops already. Three stop, nine, uh, 16 lap race. Yeah. <laughs> so he'll be <laughs> furious. see those very often. Um, yeah, they'll be questioning new boss Fernando Alonso straight away. I know. It's, well, it was a tricky race for me to come in on. But uh, Sarenen just eating up the track at the moment. Loves that. Fails to make the move on. I think that's the Steinman Motorsport. Oh, but he goes there. He's done it. Maybe they're even in trouble I there. Know, that was, he was lapping someone, wasn't he? Oh, was he? Yeah, it was a back marker, I think. Vexler up into 11th oh, now. Oh, good move there. So, oh, he's absolutely... Yeah, that's got to be a back marker. Oh. Yeah, but I've, of course, pitted him in pitted again. Him in, he's been the benefit of hindsight, I'd probably just let him do a few more laps on those inters, but I'm hoping that I can just make the jump on everybody here because Vexler's now the only person out on the track in the softs. I'm fascinated to see how this is going to turn out. I, I, have no, I genuinely have no idea. Vexler's also absolutely hammering it down, so I've told him to take as much out of the tyres as you want, stick the... Uh, Stick the engine on overtake mode, and Ooh. he is duly making the overtakes. He is, isn't he? So he pitted in in 11th, I think, or maybe 9th. Um, wow. He's back up to 10th. Wow. That was an overtake. That was insane. So the soft, Look how fast he's going. The softs are the tyre to be on at the moment. And now I'm considering doing that with uh, Siren in as well. Basically, the Vasquez is on super softs. Yeah, and in front as well. This is Holtz, what do you think? So Sarin and Supersoft seem to be the, the choice. Look at the top three. So Sarin has gone up into second oh now. Oh my word. Because uh, he didn't pit in onto the softs. But can he make the tires. inters last? Yeah, exactly. So we're into basically the final stint. That's the final four laps. Vexler's tyres will probably last the duration of the yeah, race. And he's in fifth. Uh, Sarin's just lost the position. Because he's on some quite worn intermediate tyres now. Oh, and drops another position. Yeah, but to Vexler, who's just moved into fourth. Uh, yeah, well, he's complaining about his tyres now, so I'm going to pit him in, give him a lap of... Oh, no, I didn't give him a lap of fuel. You don't need that, do you? You're, on, you're only three laps left, so you don't need any more. Uh, I took a risk, though. I, I opted for the risky pit stop strategy for Saarinen, so we'll see if he gains any time out of that. I feel like it's Vexler or Bust for the sponsor objective. Yeah, he's in a good position as well because those, those cars in front of him are, they're not back markers, they are yeah. P2 and P3. They didn't pit in. Uh, in fact, yeah, they're on the super soft, so they're going to be lapping a bit quicker. Yeah. They want a faster tyre. Sarinen, though, finally does get to pit in. Bit of a mess, the yeah. last lap for him, or 25% on those inters. Um, All the risky pit stuff pay off. Oh, no, it's not gone well. No, that's not... Not great. One guy. Bad. 
so I'm going to tell him attack, to attack. attack. See what he can do from P9. Meanwhile, Vexler's he's just still not, just not quite. He likes this corner though. Yeah, he catches up around here, but he's not gaining quite enough, is he? Go, go, go! I've I've told him to push as hard as he can, but he's trying. He's you know they're good cars and uh, and they're one he's slightly really better tires. Yeah, fair to him. great driver. Yeah, yeah, I mean, talented. A bit of a moody. Oh my gosh, it's a dilemma. Oh, now then. So Did you just ignore it? I ignored it. Something <laughs> wrong with Soren in suspension, but I, I reckon we stay out and just wait for it to break. Um, oh, will he get on the podium? So You've switched drivers! <laughs> oh, there, we've gone back. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, no, it's Soren who's got the suspension problem. Vexler's car's still working fine at the moment, but he's only got one lap of fuel left. Oh, gosh. So we need to sort well, There's only of, one lap of the race left. Yeah, so it's fine at the moment. But it is marginal. <gasps> it's, it's pretty really close. Fun. I'm enjoying this. The drama, the buzz. So usually the uh, Scuderia Rossini would have the... Oh dear. So he's out of fuel somehow. Now, what's happened here? <laughs> I, was, I was talking to the developers uh, after this race. Is that there's a bit of a oh, bug... Oh, it's There's a bit of a bug going on with the fuel at the moment. Um... Which means that it's it's a bit unclear how much fuel you have and how much time is left in the race, and that can lead to running out of fuel. So he's got zero fuel. He's, going, he's basically though. running on fumes, and he's made it up into P3 with. So they're on the last lap now. Yeah. So he's just got to make it round, you would imagine. Sarinen's basically. Oh, he's gone for another overtake. He's up into, up into second. second. And now Sarinen's also out oh, of fuel. Oh, Phil! Oh, Phil! So I've ignored that as well. I've well, told him to laugh, conserve it? the fuel on his engine mode. Is this it? Is he on the... Well... Is that the home straight? That's what I thought. But it turns <gasps> out I have to do another race, another lap, and now oh, my pace is... he's actually got no fuel. Yeah. So I've lost those two positions. Well, you're going to more than that, I would have thought. Sarinen's in similar trouble here. His tyres are on fire. He's got no suspension. He's got no fuel. Uh, oh no, I thought you were going to take a triumphant second. It's going to go backwards for the rest yeah, of this lap. Yeah, so just watching all that hard oh work and strategy gosh. slip out of my fingers. So in Formula One, in, in real Formula One, lap oh. drivers, once the checkered flag drops, so say Vasquez, who's won the race, was yeah. even a lap ahead, right? Uh, the race ends as soon as, you know, you don't have to complete. If you're four laps down, you don't have to stay the rest of the yeah, evening doing yeah. your four laps. So, yeah, I, I feel a little bit robbed by uh, a, a pre-release code bug there. Oh, this is painful. Yeah, Sarinen's holding ninth code. Well, oh, no, he dropped the 10. Brilliant. Um, oh, you're not going to even make seven. Oh, no, you are. That was... Someone else still going. So that's that. I'm turning off the car. He just <laughs> limps yeah. across the line, smoke billowing out so of his... So, uh, seventh and tenth. From what should have been, what, second and wow. fifth or something. Well, I mean, that was th frankly thrilling. Oh, we've just gone blank screen now. That was really exciting, <laughs> though. Um, wow. So, yeah. Tell us more. When's it out? Uh, in a bit. In a bit. September. <laughs> <laughs> we've made that up. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, if you liked the video, uh, give us a subscribe, hit the like button, leave us a comment. I'm exhausted. And we'll catch you next time.